Thank you. 
Hi everyone! Thank you for joining us today in our worship celebration. We're glad to have you here. But before we proceed, here are some few announcements. If you need prayers and counseling, you can send us a message here on our page or you can contact us through the numbers showing on your screen. Second, if you want to join a life group, you can also send us a message and the leader will connect with you. We also have HOP every Saturday at 9 a.m. You can join us both online or on-site. Champion Kids online at 3 p.m. every Saturday and you can connect with Pastor Regina for more details. And now for the youth, we have Living Proof Youth Philippines at 7 p.m. via Google Meet. Please also follow us on our Facebook page and on Instagram. For young adults, we have Young Adults Connect every other Wednesday of the month at 8 p.m. via Zoom. Stay updated here on our Facebook page for the link. And for tithes and offering, here are three ways on how you can give. Send the message on our page and the leader will connect with you. Second, direct it to your life group leaders. And lastly, you can also send your giving to our Gcash account. We pray that you'll be filled with God's presence this morning as we continue with our celebration. Good morning, champions! Maganda umaga sa ating lahat. Pwede ba tayo tumayo para sa ating Panginoon? Ayan. May mga upuan pa dito sa harapan. Pwede kayo mag-fill mag in. Ayan. Amen, amen. Thank you. And masaya ba tayo ngayong umaga? Come on, guys. Masaya ba tayo? Can we, can we, can we praise the Lord? Diba? Can we clap before the Lord? Diba? Dapat mataas yung energy natin ngayong umaga because the Lord is here in this place. Naniniwala ako, I believe that the Lord is in this place. And maybe, pumata ka dito because you need something from the Lord. And the Lord is here right now. So kung anuman yung pinapanalangin mo, the Lord can give that to you right now. So, again, can we lift our voice, lift our praise before the Lord? Amen. Lord, we welcome you in this place. Oh, you're in this place, Father God. And we welcome the Holy Spirit. We welcome the Holy Spirit. And before we sing to the Lord, I just want to encourage everyone. It says in His Word in Corinthians, But He said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weakness, so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why for Christ's sake, I delight in weakness, I delight in insult, in hardship, in persecution, in difficulties. Because for when I am weak, then I am strong. The Lord is saying, my grace is sufficient for you. So you don't need to worry about the problems, the situation that you have right now. Because my grace is sufficient for you. Amen. Amen, amen. Lord, we welcome you in this place, Father. And we honor you. I know that you're in this place and that you will encounter us, Father. 
We thank you for the Holy Spirit that's in this place right now that is moving in our hearts, Father, that is moving in the Spirit, Father, that is moving in this room, Father, and we acknowledge you. We acknowledge the Holy Spirit. I pray for joy. I pray for every heart to be lifted up before you, Panginoon, that we will sing, that we will sing before you, that because you deserve it, Panginoon, you are worthy of it, Panginoon. So, Father, I surrender to you. I fully surrender to you right now. And let your grace be shown upon me. For I am weak. You are strong. We thank you, God. We honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen. Can we clap before the Lord? Amen. So, we declare that your grace is enough in this place. As Lord, move in this place. Your faithfulness, O oh God, yes, Lord. You wrestle, you wrestle with a sinner's heart. You lead us, you lead us by still waters and to mercy, and nothing can keep us apart. So remember. So remember your people, remember your children, remember your promise, oh God. When sure to sing, and your grace is enough, and your grace is enough, and your grace is enough. For me, let's sing that again. Your grace is enough, Lord. And your grace is enough. And your grace is enough. And your grace is enough for me. See, now you great is your faithfulness. Great is your faithfulness, oh God. Yes, Lord, thank you. You wrestle. You wrestle with the sinner's heart. You lead us. You lead us by still waters and to mercy. And nothing, and nothing can keep us apart. So remember, so remember your people. Remember your children remember your promise oh god we sing and your grace is enough yes lord and your grace is enough and your grace is enough for me your grace is enough and your grace is enough your grace is enough, and your grace is enough for me. Great is your love, great is your love and justice, God, yes, Lord. You use the weak to lead the strong, yes, Lord. You lead us in the song. You lead us in the song of your salvation. And all your people, and all your people sing along. So remember, come on church, live here for So remember your people, remember your children, remember your promise, oh God. Oh, we sing. Your grace is enough, and your grace is enough, and your grace is enough for me. I will lift our voice, your grace is enough, and your grace is enough, and your grace is enough, and your grace is enough for me. Lord, 
Oh, we thank you, Lord. Your grace is enough. You know, church, the Lord is saying that my grace is enough for you. And He wants to receive it. I mean, He wants us to receive it. That His grace is enough. His grace is enough for you. No matter what's happening, He doesn't change. And we thank you. Mahal na mahal tayo ng Panginoon. And right now, you know, He deserves all the praise. He deserves all the worship. It's by His grace that we are here this morning. It's His grace that we are here. We can sing. We can praise Him. We can have freedom in our lives. It's because by His grace. So right now, I just want, you know, to invite you. So remember your peace, Lord. Remember your children. Remember your promise, so oh God. Yes, Lord, so remember. And so remember your people. Remember your children. Remember your promise, so oh God. So remember, lift your voice. We lift our voice. So remember your people. Remember your children remember your promise oh God and your grace is enough and your grace is enough and your grace is enough for me God we sing your grace is enough your grace, yes, Lord. Your grace is enough for me. Oh, let's sing your grace. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough for oh, the last time. Your grace is enough. Your grace. Your grace is enough for me. Your grace is enough. And your grace is enough. Heaven reaching down to us. And your grace is enough for me. Yes, Lord. For me. For me. Praise is enough. Yes, Lord. Come on, let's give him praise. We thank you, Lord, for your grace. We thank you. Right now, Father, we will follow you. We will surrender to you, Father God. What you want us to do, we will follow. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, we praise you, Father. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your grace. Holy oh, God, we ask for your favor. Come and sweep to this place. Oh, we desire you, yes, Lord. I just want to be. I just want to be with you. Be where you are. Dwell in your presence, oh God. Oh, I want to walk with you, and I will climb this mountain, yes, Lord, and I'll step up the shore. I have chosen. Yes, Lord, we want to be by your side. We want to be with you. Let's say that again. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God, we ask for your favor. Come and sweep to this space. 
Father, we welcome you in this place. Holy Spirit, we welcome you in this place, Father. We thank you, Father, that you're here in this room. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that you're moving in this place. That you're moving in the midst of our hearts, Father. Holy Spirit, we come, Holy Spirit, we invite you. Come, Holy Spirit, we invite you. We invite you, Holy Spirit, to come in this place. We invite you to be in this place. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, we have your way. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Have your way, Holy Spirit. We thank you that you're here. So 
sing before him for he and is in this place the Lord is in this place oh I just feel the spirit I just feel the spirit of the Lord
Was I forsaken? The Lord is in this place. The Lord is in this place. Come, Holy Spirit, try to awaken. The Lord is in this place. Oh, you are here in this place. The Lord is in this place. Oh, not for a minute was I forsaken. The Lord is in this place. The Lord, is in you are in this place. Oh, come, Holy Spirit, try to awaken. Not for a minute, not for a minute was I forsaken. The Lord is in this place. The Lord is in this place. Come, Holy Spirit, drive us awaken. The Lord is in this place. Lord is in this place. Oh, Jesus, you're in this place. Oh, we worship you. We lift our voice. Oh, not for a minute, God. Oh, you're in this place. Jesus, oh, have your way. Jesus, we thank you that you are here. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. Oh, Holy Spirit, we thank you, Jesus. Jesus. We came for you. Holy Spirit, we are here because of you. We want more of you. We are not enough without you, Father. Right now, just pray. Have your way in this place. Holy Spirit, we call 
call upon you, Jesus. Oh 
Lift your voice. The Lord wants to hear from you. Lift your voice. There's freedom.
of the Lord is, there is freedom. Kung nasaan ang Santong Spirito, nandun ang kalayaan, mga kapatid. At sa oras na to, kung hindi ka malayang kumikilos, nahihirapan ka, may daladala ka, this is the time that you can release it in the presence of God. The Holy Spirit is here to touch our lives, to change us, to change the atmosphere, to change our situation, to change us. Kaya mga kapatid, right this very moment, let's worship, let's invite Him in our lives personally right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, amabakara, mabasya, mabakandar, masiki. Yes, Holy Spirit, we invite you right now. Desire. presence of God right now. Holy Spirit. Let me put, there's a spirit of heaviness in our midst. And we have to be released. We need to release. Wapi tayo sa Panginoon right now. And allow the presence of God to saturate us, to consume anything that does not belong, belong to Him. Remember, this is where the presence of God is. And only the presence of God is welcome in this place. We do not welcome any other spirit. Kaya mga kapatid, right now, I, I encourage us. Search our heart and let us come to the Lord. Let's have a one minute. Just one minute na katahimikan sa harapan ng ating Panginoon sa umagang ito. Lumapit tayo sa Kanya. For I really can feel the grief right now. God, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for your presence, God. You are still the powerful, almighty, majestic God in our midst right now. At sa iyo lamang namin, Panginoon, gustong ibigay, Lord, ang kapurian, Panginoon, ng umagang ito, Panginoon. Kaya, O Diyos, ang dalangin ko, Lord God, sa bawat isang nandito sa presensya mo, Panginoon, that we will see you move in our personal, individual life this morning, O God that you're going to speak to us and teach us your ways, O Lord. 
Holy Spirit, we welcome you to move, to influence everyone right now that is in this room. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord. Holy Spirit, move and influence us with your power. Influence us with your love. Influence us with your anointing. God, I thank you. Lord, that even as we hear your word today, God, it will change us, Panginoon. Ito ang magdadala ng pagbabago sa amin, Panginoon. Dito mo kami, Lord, kakausapin. Kaya, O Diyos, sa umagang ito, nagpapasalamat ako that you have gathered us here, Lord God, to worship you, to glorify your name, to exalt your holy name. And I pray, God, for every heart right now, every heart, Lord, that you just speak to every heart right now, God. Whatever need, Panginoon, ang kailangan ng mga kapatid ko by this very moment, I thank you, God, that you are the God that meet all our needs. You meet us, O Lord God, where we are, O God. And you know what we need, O Lord. Kaya, Panginoon, we are confident, O Lord, that this morning we are going to receive, O Lord God, the fullness of your blessing. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Hallelujah. So, thank you, Lord, sa life nila. I am encouraged. Praise God. At sa umagang ito, patuloy tayong mag patuloy tayong mag-aaral ng salita ng Diyos. Amen? Nakahanda ba tayo to receive from the Lord this morning? Alam you, every time you come in the presence of God, dapat we expect that God is going to speak to you. Kasi kaya ka lumapit sa Kanya, di ba? To hear from Him. Hindi ka naman lumapit doon. Ano ba kailangan mo when you, you come in the gatherings? Ano yung intention mo? To hear, to encounter God. Alam niyo, pag yun yung pinaka-heart desire mo, I tell you, brothers and sisters, tama yan desire mo. And God will surely bless you and bless that desire that you have right now. Excuse me lang po ako, medyo minsan talagang sobrang init kasi yung aking throat. Talaga minsan nagda-dry. Anyway, so alam niyo po tayo as, as mga tao, di ba? May mga ano kasi, iba, ibang klase ang ugali ng tao. May mga tao na talagang tinatawag nilang OC, di ba? Na kailangan naka... Pero hindi sa lahat ng bagay. May mga OC kasi na OC lang sa chinelas. Di ba? OC lang sa, sa damit. OC lang. Meron hindi, hindi lahat sa buhay nila. Ano bang ibig sabihin nito? Meron lang talaga silang uh, gusto. Na parang yun ang nakakapasaya sa kanila. At pag hindi yun ang nakikita nila, nalulungkot sila. Sa buhay natin, pag hindi tayo marunong ng priority, doon nag- nagiging chaotic ang buhay natin. Di ba? Ano ba yung una? Ano ba yung dapat gawin? Ano ba yung tama? Ano yung pinakamahalaga? Even in our Christian walk, alam nyo, ano ba yung pinakamahalaga na dapat na nakikita sa atin ng Panginoon bilang mga anak niya? Tinatanong ba natin ang sarili natin yan? Ano yung pinakamahalaga? Kasi alam nyo, kung mahal mo ang Panginoon, magtatanong ka niyan eh. Di ba? Pag mahal mo yung kasama mo sa bahay, like ako, si yung aking asawa, pag umalis yung nagtrabaho, ang iniisip ko, ano kaya ang ipapakain ko pag uwi niya? Kasi yun yung ano, di ba? Na pagdating niya, meron kang may offer something that will comfort. Kahit hirap na hirap ka, kahit wala kang tulog, kahit puyat, puyat ka, magluluto ka, kailangan mo yung gawin. Bakit? Kasi you love that person. Alam nyo doon sa may amin, meron doon matanda na nagtitindang basahan sa may labas ng gate namin. Matanda na siya at may disability siya. Ang disability niya, isa lang ang mata niya. So, at matanda na, matandang matanda na. That before pandemic, nandun na siya. During pandemic, nandun pa rin siya. Hindi niya siya sinasaway kasi naawa sa kanya kahit yung mga pulis. So, andun siya. Alam niyo po ba bakit niya kinagawa yon Dahil sa pagmamahal niya sa pamilya niya, sa mga apo niya. So, she's willing to sacrifice. Gusto niya malang ano ba talaga yung mahalaga para sa pamilya ko na kahit sacrifice ko ang buhay ko. Kung baga ano, ginib up niyo yung comfort ng life. So this morning ang gusto kong pag-usapan natin at ilagay sa puso ng bawat isa. Ano ba talaga ang pinakamahalaga sa ating Panginoon na pwede nating ibigay 
bilang mga anak niya. Kaya ang ating title is, basahin natin. What matters most? Ano yung pinaka, kasi ito na minsan, we miss this out. Ang dami ating ginagawa, ang dami ating iniisip para sa sarili natin. We miss yung gusto ng Diyos na ginagawa natin bilang mga anak niya. Gusto niyo rin bang malaman yon? Ano ba talaga ang inahanap ng Panginoon sa akin? Ano ba Lord ang pwede kong ibigay sa iyo that will bring glory to you, that will make you happy? Kasi minsan tayo, gusto lang natin tayo yung masaya eh. Lord bless me. Yeah, gusto, gusto natin ng blessing. Sino ang ayaw ng blessing? Lahat tayo gusto natin ng blessing, di ba? Pero mamaya ipakita ko sa inyo kung paano ang Diyos nagbibless sa mga anak niya. So let's go to our text right now. Isaiah 66, verse 1 and 2. Sabi dito, pwede natin basahin naman sabay-sabay. This is what the Lord says, Heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house you will build for me? Where will be my resting place? Verse 2, Has not my hand made all these things? So they came into being, declares the Lord. These are the ones I look on with favor. Those who are humble and contrite in spirit and who tremble on my word. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for your word today. Bless it, O Lord, as we, and bless your people, Lord, as we receive it this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. So the verse starts with, this is what the Lord says. Sino nagsabi nito? The Lord says. Sabi niya, ano ang pwede niyong gawin na gusto niyong gawing tahanan ko? Ano magagawa niyo na pwede kong pagpahingahan? Ang, ta- ang ganda ng tanong ni Lord, di ba? Kasi during that time, itong Israelite from the exile, gusto nila uli mag-build ng temple. Pero iba na ang inahanap ng Panginoon. Sabi nga, you cannot replace yung lugar na gustong tahanan ng Diyos. Sapagkat hindi natin kayang gawin ang isang templo na pwedeng panan- panahanan ng ating Panginoon, a place where He can dwell. Diba? Hindi natin kayang gawin yun, mga kapatid. Bakit? Because this is the infinite God. E tayo, we are just finite. We are all limited. Wala tayong pwedeng magawa na pwede niyang panahanan. But God, you know, in His mercy and grace, ang ganda ng song natin, actually, hindi ako nakipag-usap kanina sa worship team natin, pero sabi niya, yung grace is enough. Alam niyo ba that He chose to dwell to you and me. Hindi sa ginawa natin, kundi sa nilikha niya. Ang sabi sa Acts 7.48, However, Acts 7, verse 48, However, the Most High does not live in houses made by human hands. As the prophet says, God who owns everything, choose you and me to be His dwelling. Okay, di ba? Sabi, oh, hindi pala na... Okay, sorry. W- wala siya. <laughs> However, the Most High does not live in houses made by human hands. Hindi siya nananahan sa mga bahay na gawa ng tao. But in Ephesians, sabi nga in Ephesians 2, 21 to 22, God who owns everything, choose you and me to be His dwelling. So sabi tito, in Him, pwede natin basahin, the whole building is joined together and rises to become a holy temple of the Lord. In the Lord. And in Him, to become a dwelling in which God lives by His Spirit. You are being built. You are being built as a dwelling. Kaya sabi ng Panginoon dito, ano ang gagawin nyo? You cannot replace kung ano ang pwedeng uh, panahanan ng Diyos. Subalit siya ay nananahan sa inyo. And we become His dwelling in Christ. He has given us His Spirit. Nasa atin ang Spirito Niya. At dyan siya ang nananala. Nanana. He is in our midst. Sabi, His very presence is in us. God send us His Spirit so that we can understand and know His will. Bakit? Para maunawaan natin ang Panginoon. Kasi minsan nga talaga hindi natin maintindihan ang kalooban ng Diyos. 1 Corinthians 3.16, ang sabi dito, 
Don't you know that you yourselves are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in your? Sino ang temple ng Lord that He built? You. We as a church. Kanina, you are being built individually. Now, sabi niya, you are God's temple and God's spirit dwells in your mates. Sa kalagitnaan. Ha? Huh? How awesome God is. Napakapangyarihan niya. Sabi nga, he, you are the temple. Alam niyo, in the temple, kung nagbabasa kayo ng Biblia, that's where we do all the requirements na ginagawa natin para lang God will, will uh, forgive us our sins, God will bless us, that God will look uh, sabi nga, on us favorably. Ibig sabihin, para makakuha ka ng favor, sa temple, may ginagawa ka, di ba? You as a temple, ano ang ginagawa mo so that the favor of God will rest upon you so that you can receive the blessing of the Lord. Kasi temple eh. When you say temple, that's where, sabi nga, yung mga offerings ginagawa, that's where they worship the Lord. So ibig sabihin, ikaw bigal ang templo, how do you worship the Lord? How do you worship the Lord? Kasi may hinahanap ang Diyos na sangkap sa pagsamba natin. At ang uh, napakaganda nito, as, as we uh, progress, gusto ko pong tutukan nyo itong mga susunod natin na uh, uh, pag-aaralan. Anyway, in verse 2, sabi niya, Has not my hand made all these things? And so they came into being, declares the Lord. These are the ones I look on with favor. Those who are humble and contrite in spirit. And who trembles at my words. Hallelujah. Sabi niya, ako ang gumawa niyan. Kaya yan nagkaroon. Pero ito ang inahanap ko. At ito ang mahalaga sa akin na makita ko sa inyo. Sabi niya, and alam niyo, when God looks at you in favor, you know what favor is? Favor is blessing from the Lord. Pag ang Diyos, ang pabor ng Diyos nasa sa inyo mga kapatid, Grabe. Pakinggan natin how the blessings of God overflows in your life with the favor of God upon you. Ito sabi ko, tutukan nyo. Baka sa bawat blessing na sasabihin ko rito, kailangan nyo sa araw na to. Deuteronomy 28. Ang sabi ng Panginoon, If you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully obey all His commands, I give you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations and all earth. Alam yung ibig sabihin nito? Promotion. If you fully, kasi if you obey the Lord, you, you, you find the favor of God in you. At kung ang pabor ng Diyos sa inyo, ang sabi niya, I will set you high above all the nations on the earth. Number two, all these blessings will come on you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. Anong blessing ito? Sabi niya, when He blesses people, He add no sorrow with it. Walang kasamang uh, kapigatian ang pagpapala ng Diyos sa buhay ng mga anak niya. So sabi niya, blessings will accompany you. Kalahin mo, kasama mo yung pagpapala. Sino ngayon noon? Okay? Meron ba? Ako gustong-gusto ko yun. And number verse 3, you will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. Kahit saan ka pumunta. Kasama mo yung blessing. Verse 4, pakibasa. Lakasan natin. Wow. The fruit of your womb will be blessed. Sino ba? Yung mga anak mo. Pamilya mo. Pinagpapala ng Diyos. At lahat ng alaga mo, pinagpapala niya. Grabe, di ba? It overflows to the favor. Verse 5. Basahin natin. Your basket. Hindi ka magugutom. Ibig sabihin, meron ka pa more than enough para ipamigay sa kapitbahay. Di ba? Hindi ka nagkukulang. Verse 6. You will be blessed. Bless when you go out. Grabe. Over seven. The Lord will grant. 
They will come at you from one direction but flee from you in seven. Marami bang maaway sa inyo, manang bubuli sa inyo. Marami bang naiinggit sa inyo. Marami bang <laughs> nagagalit sa inyo. Sabi ng Panginoon, the Lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against you will be defeated. Ikaw ba magipag-defeat sa kanila? No. It's the presence of God. They will come at you from one direction but flee from you in seven. Kalay mo may scattered lahat yung kalaban na yan. Wala silang pupuntahan. Matatakot sila. And of course, hanggang verse 8 lang. Verse 8. Hallelujah. That is the blessing kung ang favor ng Diyos nasa sa atin. Now, gusto nyo ba yung blessing na to? Diba? You are the temple of God. There is a requirement na ma- kailangan natin magawa to be favored by the Lord. Sabi niya, diba, this is uh, sa kanina, sabi niya doon sa has not uh, my hand made all these things and so they came into being. These are the ones I look on with favor. Ito, yung mga tinitignan ko with favor. So doon po, sabi nga, ano, ang mag-qualify sa'yo sa favor ni Lord? Number one. Basahin natin. Humble heart. Alam niyo po ba yung hum- biblical humility is uh, embracing and recognizing who you are in Christ over who you are in the flesh. Actually, yun po yung biblical meaning ng humility. Ibig sabihin, pag nasa presensya ka ng Diyos, kinakalimutan mo kung sino ka, achievement mo, ano ka pa man dyan. But in the presence of God, you are naked. Lord, wala akong magagawa. Ikaw lang ang kailangan ko. Buong buhay ko sa'yo, Panginoon. That is the biblical humility na hinahanap ng Diyos sa atin. Si David, kaya siya tinawag the man after God's own heart. Alam mo ba pag nag-worship siya? Tinatawag nga siya ng asawa niya kasi hari siya eh. Pero pag nag-worship siya, nag-worship ng buong buo with all his strength and might. Wala siyang pakialam sa sasabihin ng tao. Ang pakialam niya lang, ma-please niya ang Lord. Sumasayaw siya, kaya nga may song na For the Spirit of the Lord who is in my heart, I will dance like David dance. Alam mo yung kasi iba si David when he danced in the presence of God. Kaya tinawag siya ng asawa niya, baliw. Habang sumasamba sa Diyos. Bakit? Kinakalimutan niya ang pagiging hari niya dito sa lupa. Dahil sumasamba siya sa hari ng mga hari. And God is looking for a person that can worship Him the same way. With a poor spirit. Ibig sabihin, wala talaga Lord. Unless you encounter me today, wala akong ano, uh, hindi ko talaga mararamdaman that you have blessed me. Alam mo yun, that is humility. And God is looking for people that will have a humble heart before Him. Sa so James, uh, sabi ng Panginoon, but He gives us more grace. That is why Scripture says, God opposes the proud and shows favor to the humble. Ayaw talaga ng Diyos ang mayabang. Kasi ang kayabangan naman, biblical explanation nito, mas marunong ka pa sa Diyos. Hindi mo siya kailangan. Kaya nga pag Sunday, okay lang hindi ako mag-worship. ba? Diba? Okay lang yun. Maintindihan naman ako ni Lord eh. Alam mo yan? That's arrogance before the presence of God. Because we need God more than He needs us. Tandaan niyo po yun. Kailangan natin ng Diyos. Mas kailangan natin siya. So, it, you know, uh, pag ganun ang attitude natin. And then, nandun ka nga sa presence. Andito ka nga sa gatherings. And yet, iba naman ang daladala ng puso mo. Kailangan ba rin natin yan? We have to be humble. You have to acknowledge who God is in your life over your flesh. Seeing yourself as one who is poor in the spirit and the total surrender to God. And then number two po, may silang po ang preaching natin this morning. But I want everyone to really uh, uh, um, absorb or ano nyo sa buhay nyo. Kasi maaring kailangan nyo to. 
Kaya kayo hindi nagkakaroon ng breakthrough kasi meron kulang sa buhay natin na hinahanap ang Diyos. Okay? Number two is the contrite heart. Alam niyo po ba ibig sabihin ng contrite heart? It's a repentant heart. Pusong marunong humingi ng tawad at tumalikod sa kasalanan. Hindi lang po tayo humihingi ng tawad, mga kapatid. Kundi tatalikuran mo yan. Alam mo yung contrite heart, broken spirit, sabi ka, nakita mo, nagkasala ka sa harapan ng Diyos. And you are sorry, Lord, I have sinned. At yung kasalanan na yan, iiwanan mo yan. Hindi mo siya babalikan. Because you have a repentant heart. Pag sinabi mong repent, iiwan mo ang kasalanan. Ano ba yung kasalanan na hindi mo mag-give up for the Lord? Sometimes marami tayong kasalanan na nakatago sa puso natin. Ayaw natin kasi comfort natin yan. Pero this is the truth, mga kapatid. And I have to teach you the truth. Unless, sabi nga, talikuran mo yan at iwanan ang kasalanan na yan. Hindi po magiging kumpleto ang requirement mo so that the favor of God will look, be upon you. Amen? So God is looking for a contrite heart, a heart that knows how to repent. Puso na marunong tumalikod sa mga kasalanan. Sabi ng Psalms 51.17, My sacrifice, O God, is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. God, you will not despise. Alam mo yung pag ganun ka lumapit sa Diyos, hindi ka niya i-reject. Actually, maaawa siya sa'yo, mahabag siya sa'yo. Itong anak ko, ya, mahina siya. Talagang uh, palagi siyang nadadapa, pero lumalapit at patuloy siyang tumatayo. At yun, God honors that. Mga kapatid, yung paglapit mo na may kababaang loob, naghihingi ng tawad, tumatalikod sa kasalanan, God honors that. And God is pleased. Pag ganun tayo, that's the hot attitude that we have in our lives. Amen? <laughs> Baka tulog na. <laughs> okay. And number three, sabi ko sa inyo, may silang tayo ngayon. The last is the one that, basahin natin lahat. Oh, pag sinabi niyo yung tremble, ano ba yung sa'yo? Nanginginig ka pa, di ba? When you hear the word of God, mga taong marunong rumispeto sa salita ko, mga anak ko, na marunong gumalang sa salita ko, that when my word is being preached, you listen. Ibig sabihin, you give your attention fully. Hindi pwede, God wants us full, not in portion or partial, mga kapatid. Sabi daw si Trample at His word. Alam mo yun na minsan na nakakalungkot. Most often, maraming failures sa lang ito. Bakit? Pupunta sa church. Ah, ay, teka muna. Punta ako doon sa church. Ano na? Word na ba? Sinong preacher? Di ba? Alam yung whoever, sabi nga, ang preacher, you honor what the word is being spoken. Hindi yung preacher. Kasi, ang word of God represents Him. Ang salita niya ito eh. So, eh, every time na sinasabi sa atin yun, titignan natin ang Diyos, nagsasalita sa atin. Yung iba, darating kalahati na yung preaching ni pastor. Okay lang, umabot naman ako sa ano, closing prayer. Kapatid, hindi kumpleto ang worship mo. Pag dumating ka ng late sa praise and worship natin, hindi pa rin kumpleto ang worship mo. Sabi ng Panginoon, you have to worship Him in spirit and in truth. Sa spirito at katotohanan. Pag na mismo ang isa dyan, hindi kumpleto ang worship mo. Minsan, pupunta tayo sa praise and worship. Pagkatas ng praise and worship, lalabas na tayo. Preaching of the word na. ba? Diba? Hindi kumpleto ang preaching mo, ang worship mo. Bakit? Hindi mo na-receive yung message ng Lord. So, brothers and sisters, as your pastor, gusto kong ilagay natin sa tama lahat ng puso natin. Sabi, the, the one that trembles and fear His word. Isang taong may banal na takot sa salita niya that every time the word is preached, 
Nandun yung honor, nandun yung reverence. Hindi nakikinig ka, marami kang ginagawa. Or minsan, pipreach ka rin sa katabi mo. Di ba? Or minsan yung isip mo, iniisip mo na, while preaching the word, nag-isip ka na kung anong gagawin mo after the service. Sana ko kakain, sa kami pupunta mamaya. Sa kaya ang gimmick ngayon? That is dishonoring God, mga kapatid. When you are here in the presence of God, give your full attention to God and to His Word. That's the only way that the favor of God will rest upon you. We want the favor, but we don't want the labor. Di ba? Ayoko na labor. Hirap naman, Lord. Ang tagal naman ang preaching, Lord. Nakakatulog ako eh. Well, may, may problema ang espiritu mo, kaya palaging tulog. Ibig sabihin, gutom ang espiritu mo. Di ba yung katawan mo, pag nagpasting ka, inaanto ka? Kasi walang feeding. Gutom eh. Alam mo pag palagi kayo inaantok during sa preaching ng Word of God, ha, reset, reset, mga kapatid. Kasi you miss ang isa sa pinakamahalaga sa pagsamba natin sa Diyos. Hindi lang ang pag-awit sa Kanya, kundi ang pakikinig ng kanyang salita. Yun ang sabi niya eh. Tremble and fear His word. And when the word is spoken, let's give reverence. Alam niyo, reverence to God. Doon, okay, ay naku, teka, word of God na. Tigil na natin itong ano, mamamaya na tayo magmarites. Diba? Marites and marikon. Diba? Tapos sumasali pa si Maring Sali. Diba? So, tigilan natin yan sa loob. When we worship the Lord, if you want God to bless you, sabi, ano yung mga blessing kanina? God will bless you coming in and going out. Whatever your hands touches, the Lord will bless it. All your enemies, hindi nila kayo kaya. May mga kalaban kayo, God will protect you. Because He favors you. He will not allow His children na favor niya na pahirapan ng mundo. Tandaan po natin ito. But, sabi nga, the requirements to qualify the favor of God. One, you have to have, ano yun, kanina? Number one, humble heart. Ibig sabihin ng humble heart, uh, embracing who God is over you. Hindi mo tinitignan kung sino ka pag nasarapan ka ng Diyos. Kung ano achievement mo. Kung anong status mo. Lahat yan basahan sa harapan ng Panginoon, mga kapatid. It, sabi nga, all rags in the presence of God. You acknowledge His presence, you surrender to the presence of God. Number two, you have a contrite heart. A heart that knows to repent. Ibig sabihin, puso na tumatalikod sa kasalanan. Hindi ka masaya pag nagkakasala ka o pag may nagawa kang kasalanan, nalulungkot ka. Yung iba nalulungkot ng five minutes, pero hindi umaalis. Alam niyo ba yun? Kaya, ang nangyayari, ano naman ah, parang nag ako, every Sunday na sa altar call. Kasi ayaw, mag, ayaw magpalaya ng, uh, ng, uh, sa kasalanan. Nakakatawan Tagalog. <laughs> Hallelujah. So God is looking for people that have a humble heart, contra heart, a people that trembles honors, revere His Word. Taong marunong magrespeto sa salita niya, sa sinabi niya. Taong na marunong rumispeto sa presensya niya. Kasi minsan yung nakakala natin, oh, gatherings lang naman ito. Alam mo ba? Where we gather, there's the presence of God. Sabi nga kanina binasa natin, the Spirit of God is in our needs. So how do you respond when the Spirit is there? Eh, samantalang pag nakita mo nga yung mga... Uh, Uh, mga sikat, halos nakatitig ka na, tumutulo palaway. <laughs> diba katitingin? Pero sa presence of God, parang, oh my God, kulang yata ang ating pagmamahal sa Diyos. So God wants us to love Him with all our heart, with all our soul, mind and strength. Kaya nga yun ang iningi niya sa atin, eh. mali natin siya ng buong buo. God wants you. Sabi nga, hindi lang yung portion mo, but the whole you. He chose you to be His. Siya ang tumawag sa'yo. Pinili ka niya. But you have to respond to that call, to the invitation. 
Sabi nga, wala naman, wala naman, bakit ganun yung favor ni Lord? Yung ganun lang? Yes. Pero hindi naman yung limited lang kung ilang tao. Invitation yun sa lahat. That if you are going to have that kind of heart attitude, if we're going to have that kind of heart sa harapan ng Diyos, then the blessing of God will rest upon you. Kaya nga sabi niya, heaven is my throne. The earth is my footstool. Alam niyo ba kung gaano kakapangyarihan ng Diyos na sinasamba at pinaglilingkuran natin? He feels everything. Ang presensya niya, nandyan lahat, anywhere you go. Kaya huwag mo sabihin na, okay, di ako nakikita ni Lord. Mayroon yung ginagawa ko ngayon, no? God is everywhere. Nakikita niya yan because heaven is His throne and the earth is His footstool. Sabi niya, where uh, is the house you will build for me? Where is the house that you will build for me? Where will be my resting place be? So saan? Ano bang pwede niyong gawin? Sa verse 2, sabi niya, Has not my hand made all these things? Ginawa ko ito eh, lahat. And they came into being, declares the Lord. But, these are the ones I look on with favor. Sabi, hindi ako nagagalak sa gawa niyong, na lalagyan niyo ako ng lugar na pwedeng sambahan niyo sa akin. Because wala kayong pwedeng gawin o magawa that can create, that you can create a place where can fit my presence. Because heaven is my throne, the earth is my footstool. Wala kayong pwedeng gawin magagawa na lugar na pwedeng padsidlan ng presensya ko. Sabi niya, kundi kayo mismo na ginawa ko will be my dwelling place. Sabi niya, and sabi niya, these are the ones I look on with favor. So God, ito, ano ito? Ito yung mga anak ko na gusto ko eh. Sabi niya eh. Di ba yung mga tatay, nanay natin pag may paborito, no? Minsan yung paboritong anak, hindi na kailangan utuin yung, ma, ma, ano eh, yung parents eh. Binibigay na kaagad eh. Pag kailangan niya yung bukas, dagdagan mo yung baon. Di ba? So, kayo mga estudyante dyan, gusto niyong dagdagan yung baon nyo, <laughs> kailangan <laughs> medyo maging masunurin kay nanay at kay tatay. Sabi, a humble and contrite in the spirit and who tremble at my word. Actually, this is the heart that God is looking sa atin, sa ating mga anak niya, the one that will honor Him, people that will come to Him in humility, repentant, and a heart will honor His word. Kaya mga kapatid, sa umagang ito, uh, as we end our message, Tulog na ba kayo? <laughs> Gising na ba kayo? <laughs> End na eh. <laughs> Baka may natulog. Pero praise God, lahat ay attentive. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Thank you, Jesus. Alam niyo, as you give your time to the Lord, I believe you receive something. Amen? Amen? Did you receive something from God today? Okay. So if you want God to favor your life, sabi nga, Change. Kung hindi mo pa nagagawa yung mga ibang isa sa tatlong yon, may pagkakataon pa. Di ba? Give your whole to God. Lahat isurrender mo sa Panginoon. And let God take over. Let God take over. Nakakapagod ang buhay dito sa mundo. Di ba? Kahit nga yung ano, yung uh, pagpasok lang sa school, nakita ko yung mga estudyante. My goodness, yung kasi kami, nung panahon namin, wow, panahon ko ah, classic. Yung panahon namin, ako nga, hindi, hanggang ngayon makikita nyo, I'm not a fan of big bag. Nakikita nyo naman siguro, ganito katawan ko yung bag ko, parang pang grade 2. Diba? Kahit po kasi nung nag-aaral ako, ganun, nung panahon namin kasi, yung morning and afternoon ang klase, ang dala namin, yung notebook lang, kung ano lang notebook kailangan in the morning, pag uwi mo ng hapon, yung hapon naman, notebook, yung mga books na iiwan yan sa bahay. Kasi, magdi-discuss kami sa school, magpapadala ng assignment, susagutan nyo sa bahay. Pero ngayon, yung mga bata, parang mga Ninja Turtle na, sa laki ng mga bag, kasi lahat ng books nandoon. 
Di ba? Praise God dun sa ano eh. Roller. Roller bags. Di ba? Pero ito ka mo. Roller. Naka roller. Ano stroller ba yun yan? Stroller bag nga siya. Yung classroom niya. Third floor naman. Di ba? So yun. Hang hirap kahit maging estudyante. Tapos nakita ko yung apo ko. Anong grade lang ito? Yung algebra niya. Hindi ko na maintindihan. Sa so, bakit? Mas matalino ba sila noon? Ay ngayon kaysa noon. <laughs> Parang hindi ko ito pinagdaanan. <laughs> Grabe yung suffering still para sa akin. Pero kaya nila. Di ba? Kaya ng mga estudyante natin ngayon. Natatalino ng mga estudyante natin ngayon. Pero nahihirapan sila. Di ba? Sino mga estudyante dito? Tas ang kamay. Masaya ba? Di ba kayo nahihirapan? <laughs> di ba? Masaya lang pag may baon. No? Lalo kung malaki ang baon. Kailangan mo pagdaanan, di ba? If you want to graduate, pagdadaanan mo siya. Ano yung sabihin? Apakahirap ng buhay ngayon. At ang presensya lang ng Lord ang pwedeng magbigay sa atin ng kapahingahan. Only God can give us rest. Kahit sa buhay ng pamilya, anak, trabaho, lahat siya may pressure, may friction, may trouble. Kasi in the world, there will be many troubles eh. Sabi naman ng Lord yan eh. Kaya lang, ang ganda ng kadugtong. I have overcome the world. So since ako yung nag-overcome sa world, sa akin kayo lumapit. If you want to overcome the world, sa akin kayo lumapit. Because you cannot overcome the world alone. Only the Lord overcomes the world. Amen. Amen. Amen.